y'all is Hope at Crafty Hope and here I am working in my Dilutions journal. This is one of the, I don't know if it's one of the older ones or what, but it's it's white pages, um, fairly basic and I am prepping it by putting a little bit of masking tape just down the center line. Um, I don't think I had a whole idea of what I was going to do for this page. So I, if I did get messy, I didn't want anything to seep through. So I'm going to go ahead and put the masking tape down just to kind of seal that, that crease. So, um, and while I'm at it and I've got the masking tape out, I'm going to go ahead and put some more, um, and of course I'm it's sticking to itself and so I'm just getting scraggly <laughs> pieces of it but I'm just gonna go ahead and put it down on the page for just some background interest while I'm at it now, I didn't have a whole lot of um, direction for this page but I did have a bag of giblets from Miss Tiffany of Southern Gals Design so I'm gonna use some of that here in a minute but first I have grabbed my Stabilo all pencil it's the black one and I am making just some crazy loopy marks on my page um, um, you see I'm kind of moving my hand up and down that um, the pencil kind of holding it at the end in some places so it can get as messy as possible and then I'm using like a super wet paintbrush and going over the marks that I made um, you can see these are super scattered and just scribbly scribbly marks um, I did call this page uh what did I call it scribbles and scraps so I've already got scraps of masking tape on there and the stabilo scribbles and I'm gonna add some more scraps here in just a second um so I love how grungy that the stabilo gets it's just yummy um and I could sit there and look at that page all day, but um, I'm not gonna. Instead, I have pulled out this little envelope of giblets that I got from Tiffany and grabbed just this one straight out of there. Now it's got a little bit of a like a coral color on it and then some, it looks like it may be a paint gray, but it's kind of muddled and got a bunch of other colors involved in it too. And I really kind of was digging it. So I am just taking that piece from Tiffany and using that Uhu glue stick to glue down these randomly I'm tearing it up and um, putting it down I don't I didn't even dry this did I No, mm -mm. I didn't even bother drying this page but I am gonna glue these scraps down now Tiffany calls them giblets and I I'm here I'm calling them scraps sometimes when they're my own pieces of paper on that might just floating around on my desk I call it flotsam because that's kind of the stuff that's kind of floating around um, in the ocean that comes up on shore is um, like flotsam and jetsam and so that's kind of what I think of the scraps that are floating around on my desk so um, anyway moving on I grabbed I've got this bucket of fabric pieces in it and I'm just pulling it out and kind of going through it and y'all let me go ahead and tell you none of this makes it into the page I don't I didn't I, I didn't have a direction um I thought I was going to use these fabric scraps I use I do use a fabric scrap it's just not it's not going to be these <laughs> so I probably should have cut this part of um the video out but I didn't because you know what I ended up using this video as my example video for a video on editing um, videos so y'all will get to see that later how I edit videos so and I wasn't paying so much attention to what I was doing in this video um, so I pulled out a piece of paper and I think that is some of my own eco dyed paper uh, cause I don't think I would have, I don't think Tiffany would have sent me a full piece of eco dyed paper. I'm pretty sure that's my own. So I just kind of tore that and laid that on the page and then I'm going to, yeah, I'm playing with these yummy, yummy scraps. And I really like that that eco dye itself has some of that, that grunginess that's kind of also in that Stabilo that it kind of matches, that it carries that through somehow. I don't. I don't know. Um, and then I, yeah, I, t I really like this little piece, y'all. Somehow I ended up with this, this half circle. And, uh, yeah, I kind of put it on its own down there on that bottom left. And it's fabulous. I love it so much. So, <laughs> um, 
So I am looking at what I've got so far. So I've got my scraps and some of Tiffany's scraps. And Tiffany's had that coral color. So I am pulling out my Distress Oxide ink pad in Abandoned Coral along with a piece, a little piece of acetate. And I'm just going to stamp that onto that acetate and I'm going to spray it a little bit. And then grab my paintbrush and kind of spread out that a little bit so that there's like some bigger and smaller droplets on it. And then I'm going to just press that onto the page just like this. And these droplets, oh my gosh, all in the pictures you'll see it, are so flippin' yummy. There's, again, the, the there's little droplets and big droplets, and the color goes so well with that color that Tiffany has. And it's great. So... Um, the next thing I decided to do was I grabbed this. I'll have to find what color that is. Um, margarita, maybe. That's one of my favorites from Americana. And if it's not, I'm going to have a, um, I'll have it written in the description box below. But I mixed it with a, just a little bit of gesso. I was trying to get another color. I don't really know what color I wanted to get. Um, so I don't know why I mixed the gesso in there, but it's fine. And then I'm just going to take a fairly thin paintbrush and start adding the color onto this page. Now I found myself here about coloring kind of outside of the lines of the Stabila, like right in here. I'm kind of filling in some of the spaces where the Stabila didn't get. And I don't know why I did that, but it was very almost meditative to, um, I don't know, it's like color, like the adult coloring books, they're supposed to be like relaxing. And so this kind of, um, automatic coloring, but outside the lines kind of thing was, I don't know, so much fun. And I'm, I forgot I had done this and I really am going to have to try this again. And you can see me here. I'm kind of, I start struggling a little bit with it because I didn't want to touch any of the abandoned coral because it was still wet. And I knew that also the um, paint would reactivate any of it. So I was trying to be super careful. I wasn't as concerned with touching any of the Stabilo and getting it reactivated. But um, that abandoned coral, like I said, was still completely wet and so I'm trying to be as careful as possible but um, enjoy the process that's so much what art journaling is about is just enjoying um, the art of creating so I finally dried that piece and then I realized I had this scrap of fabric that I had dyed I believe with some distress stains now I don't know what colors I'd used on that it very could have been abandoned coral and don't know what the green would have been. Maybe some kind of citrus. I don't know. I really don't know. Um, and I'm just tearing that little scrap down. But I liked it that it had the colors or close to the colors that I already had on this page. So it worked out, worked out nicely. And um, yeah, I'm tearing this down into itty bitty bits to this. I think even when I took pictures of this page, there were still little bits of frayed pieces in it. So. Um, I'm going to audition this in a couple spots and I finally said I like it just kind of right there, just that up and down. Um, I don't know, that vertical line there really was something. So I, I didn't even bother getting anything too heavy because this is a super lightweight fabric that I'm just using my Uhu glue stick to glue it down. And then I'm going to go, I've got a little scrap there and I wanted to carry it over to the other side of the page. So I decided I'm just going to glue it. Yeah, well, I thought about it for a second. You see me thinking, um, tapping that finger. And so I'm just going to glue it right there. And I'm trying to think what I do next. I don't think there's much more to this page. I um, grab some papers. I have some, oh, and it, aha, this is what I do. I've got my Distress Oxide in black soot and a hand-carved stamp. And I cut out the part where I um, sorted through all of my stamps to decide what I wanted. And this is just kind of like a three-petal or leaf pattern. Um, but I liked kind of the structure, but botanicalness that was to this to pull into this page. So I'm going to put those kind of just randomly. I like that this stamped pretty well on that fabric since it was so thin and didn't have a whole lot of texture to it. So, um, 
I'm going to put that just in a couple places. And I think about it for a second about, since this is Distress Oxide, about using my wet paintbrush to kind of uh, muddy up some of those lines. But then, see, so here's where I'm like, well, maybe I'll... And I'm like, no, no, I don't want to do that because I really was digging at the structure that those stamps brought to this page that this page didn't have at all because the whole page is kind of chaos and it kind of reigns it in to have some kind of image, even if it's kind of an abstract image. So then I grab, I've got these um, it's pieces of cardstock that I stamped with stays on and just some sentiments and I cut out one that says believe. And it works out beautifully because that white is the same white that's on the um, original page of that dilutions journal. But I'm going to tear around this so it kind of feels like this is part of the page somehow and not so much of a structure. And then I'm going to, sorry I didn't mean to get so loud there, um, I'm going to just use my Ooh glue stick and glue that down. And that's it for this page, y'all. Um, I think it's um, a great way to use up some of my scraps and just some scribbles. And it's beautiful and bright. I hope you like this too. Make sure to give me a thumbs up if you do. And subscribe if you haven't. And um, um, I think that's it, y'all. Keep on crafting on. Bye.